Dragonshire. Greetings. Yo, thanks friend. for the sub. That's uh, bye bye. Appreciate it. Oh yes, Vasilis go on my team again. As far as I know, only Germans greet Yo with a J. Band Ariel, GG. Just setting the record straight, guys. advice to play hero league in the weekend if you want to climb try hard but are afraid to lose points uh i would say go into the weekend with a completely different mindset than weekdays even adjust your play style people you know people can definitely you can find order in oh, any chaos the key is to understand the level that you're playing at the chaos that you're playing at so if you say hero league is more chaotic in the weekend people are generally worse less coordinated more high then in that sense that goes for your side and their side by not being high or bad you can harness Word that just adjust has a fat hack, thank you strange uh, love doctor but yeah you can harness that so for for instance let's say just in theory everyone plays well together you go zarya in the week but you go kerrigan or or samuro in the weekend or zagara split push the key is to recognize where you are and then to find your way out of it Can you explain how to play Weekend Hero League while not hide? It seems impossible to me. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know anything about this. Finally. Hmm. Triple global. Grubby doesn't know anything about not being high. <laughs> no, about being high. Hi, Hanjo. My blades are yours. I wanted to make a just job joke, but did not realize what it sounds like. Mistakes were made. I play to win. Oh, 
I'm a weekend player. Does this mean I'm in the wrong rank because weak hots is harder? No, we weak hots isn't harder. That's the thing. Like, there's one of two things that are happening. You'll either benefit from weekend hots, or you will suffer from weekend hots. That's one of two things. It's 50-50. And so if you're generally having a good win rate in the week and not on the weekend, you have not yet properly adjusted to the playstyle of the weekend. You can't say just because you're a weekend player, therefore X, Y, Z. Are you ready? You just try and stop Zulkin. <laughs> Vargoth says, we got steamrolled yesterday by a team of Varian, Illidan, Genji, Sonia, and Uther as a support. How can you counter this? They just jumped on us and slaughtered us in seconds. Totally understand you, man. You would need Falstad, Mighty Gust, Medivh, Leyline Seal, Five, ETC four, with uh, W three, to peel, two, Stitches, Putrid Bile. Though, Stitches generally is a poor pick against it. Putrid Bile is pretty good against it. Material Sanctification, Divas, Explosion, anything that says, go away. Greetings, friend. Or die if you stay. Four top, five top. <laughs> Screw Zach. The ancient shrines awaken. Control them and let loose the dragon knight. Ooh, okay, that's pretty bad. That might hear you faster. Hurry, activate the shrines and the dragon's power is yours. Sick Polly. Oh, I do it. Choose a talent. Lend our brother your axe. Whatever you want. land with you. You have fallen. It's okay, I got uh, Alarak. I just see Brightwing Diva Dahaka. But I think there's a world where I wouldn't die, probably. I fell asleep watching you play Zul'jin. I woke up watching you play Zul'jin. Now I don't know how long I've been asleep and I'm very confused. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been playing Zul'jin now. I'm so confused. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, we might have to give it. Okay, never mind. I hate playing against Alarak as Zildjian. Oh, thank you for the keeping count try down there, Sin. 33 stacks at 3 minutes. Not the best, for sure. Oh, 
Ah, that doesn't count. The mech. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll show the diva belt later. Say it. Say it is not your time yet. GG. I saw the owl took one step to the right in the end that got him killed too. Okay, DK is one of the best ways to farm your stacks. So let's go do that. Um, no. This Alarak is thirsty for me. Poor me getting banged up by a fellow Dutchie. Why did you pick this level 4 talent? It's useless here. Um, no, it's not. I picked it because it's not. It's not just about slows. Choose a talent. You just get the CDR, it's great. Can I go testing oh, yeah. CDR mana reduction? Three percent. I mean, six percent. Nearly darker. Hey, I gotta go. Power gathers within the shrines. Unleash the dragon's wrath. shall rest no longer unleash its power I need Brightwing and the Haka. So looks like I'm going bottom lane. I gonna bury you. Zulgin go away, Zulgin go. Dahama 
Great Emerald Wind. Really good Bright Wing play overall. There's still so much XP down, it's crazy. <sighs> wow. Gonna go get some XP top. Uh, actually, I don't have use for removing roots and slows. I don't think they have any roots or slows. I just took it for the CDR on the heal. On auto attack build, the others don't really matter that much. I don't want to run out of mana. Oh, we got the Haka, but I wasn't there. We're making a comeback, though. For as much as people don't believe comebacks are possible right now, we're certainly doing it. I don't have Tastingo, so this is a little bit risky. I feel like the Haka's burrow ins have been very greedy. I should be fine because Alarak and uh, so on are bottom. I'm gonna get level 16 or very close to for us. I need to go. Everyone disengaged. Need to grab bot train. Oh, I want to be there. I want to be there. Let the dragon consume you. Enemy slain. Choose. Get let the killing begin. I don't need that. Outcome was never in doubt. I don't care. Enemy slain. So sick. So sick, actually. I still need Bright Wing Dhaka, though. These fights are crazy. Yeah, there's no apocalypse, you should definitely take it. Yeah, Lucio is playing out of his mind. This this guy is such a nice support player. I just have a smile every time he's on my team. Fasilisco. His interrupts with Lucio and Ariel for like big engages. No, that was terrible. This guy is such a bad support player. He knocked him out of my W. Destroyed. 
keep destroyed. Choose a talent. Now, three. Already me. Worthy strike. Nice comeback. Whew. <laughs> well done. Ha <laughs> ha. Well done. MVP. I'll show all the builds, including uh, Breeze's Diva build. You don't seem to get much value from your level 1 talent. So the thing is, my philosophy is, you only need 3 to make it worth it. I don't need the bonus range. It's fantastic when you do, but it's not required. 6% non-conditional after 3 takedowns is, in my opinion, better than 10% spell power sub-75 life and 20% attack speed sub-50% life. Because you're not always going to be that low. And there's always that risk that you do get the Headhunter quest for the opponent. I like Headhunter. And in Hero League, generally everybody dies. Sometimes you have bad luck, you don't get them all. But it's my choice to go. Because when you get it, 7.7 .7 range, fantastic. And you don't need to be low life, so you can play safer. Diva Breeze. Hit the Nitrous. In my opinion, this is the old... Uh, talent. It might be better in competitive, maybe, but I feel like this is the third best talent. It used to be the best. Now I think it's the third best. Uh, rush down is the best, in my opinion. Every three seconds you can use Q. Great for lane rotations. Um, and I like pro moves as well. It's actually really good. Diverting power, I agree, it's the best. But diverting power with pro moves is actually fantastic. Aggression matrix... I never got the point, but I see most pro divas use it. I don't like it. Big shot, I agree with that one. Emergency shielding uh, is best when you're behind. The ablative is best when you're ahead, and there's other factors as well. Torpedo dash, yeah, I prefer nano weave suit, but torpedo dash gives you some uh, additional play possibilities as well. That was a nice comeback game. I think Dragonshire for the new... The, here's the thing, actually. Dragonshire is probably the least snowball -y map. Always has been. And that's why I feel like, not just now, but before as well, it's the best map in the battleground. Because uh, the double regeneration globes that, uh, that you get don't snowball this much. Like, yeah, we fell behind, but they don't get to end that early or that easily. Uh, so Tridanison actually kept up the uh, Zul'jin stack analysis, which is interesting. In this particular game that we just did, let me see if I can open it. Um, hold on a sec. So apparently Greetings, at 3 minutes man. I had 33 Merry at 6 Christmas to you and your family grubby Thank you very much Geir you too and to your dog and Merry Christmas from my dog as well Uh so it looks like I had 30 stacks at 3 67 at 6 120 by 9 so you can see it ramped up quite fast 
Because once you have that bonus range, it's easier to get more attacks. 166 at 12. Wow. Here I have like 30 bonus stacks. And here? Consistent with the jumps at the previous levels. And it's consistent. So it's just here I hit a kind of nice spike. So if you go by this... You could say that about 10 stacks per minute would be the median. So and we can keep uh, updating it if I play Zul'jin again. But that's really interesting. Thanks, man, Tridanison. So next time people ask how many stacks is normal, I would say hmm, maybe 10%, 10 per minute. And I'll keep updating my answer as I get more data as well. Every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. There was a DK between level six and nine. Right, of course, of course. That uh, really makes Zul'jin. Uh, It really makes a uh, good use of vehicle maps like uh, Dragonshire, Volskaya Foundry, and uh, Garden of Terror. <laughs> okay. All right. Mega lol. <laughs> 